two minute review time, we are looking at Glover. This 3D platformer for the Nintendo 64 can be summed up in really just a couple of words, ambition and lack of execution. Sadly, what Hasbro Interactive and the developers put together here has some great ideas, but the sum of its parts do not add up to anything all that great. If anything, the control scheme and just what you need to do in the game is actually quite frustrating. You're essentially a glove, a sentient glove, trying to get from one end of a level to another, and you can change your bouncy ball into several different ones. Some do more damage, some sink in the water, some float, some bounce, some don't. All of this is a cool idea, but the execution of having to use physics around it, it just wasn't quite there yet this early in the 3D world of gaming. So there are lots of opportunities to have fun with this, but when it really comes down to it, you're going around tight corners, you're avoiding enemies, you're trying to go down really narrow pathways and fall off a level, and then after a couple of seconds, boom, you're back at the beginning again. And honestly, it's it's just really frustrating. I think the game has some decent personality. I think it has awesome ideas, as I mentioned, but yeah, really what it comes down to is a whole lot of missed opportunities. You can hear me talk about this with a guest on level 23 of the Remember 64 podcast. I'd like to say I hope you check this game out and then listen to the episode, but uh, maybe just listen to us talk about it. It's probably your best bet. A tease ahead though, I will be playing a prototype of the sequel of Glover and having a review of that as well. <laughs>